T-minus one minute. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. We're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. T-minus 38 seconds and counting. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. T minus 25 seconds. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds, and the sound suppression water system has been activated. We have a go for now to start. Three engines up and ready. Three, two, one. Zero. Booster ignition. Oh. And lift off of Discovery. Blazing a trail to scientific discoveries aboard Space Station. Oh, wow. Boosting Discovery World Program. more than four and a half million pounds and now uh, one minute and 27 seconds into the flight the main engines and solid rocket boosters have reduced that weight by about half solid rocket, bo rocket boosters alone are burning, burning 11,000 pounds of propellant per second and the external tank is now 3,000 pounds lighter than when it began scope is now 21 miles away from its launch pad and uh, 22 miles in altitude traveling 2,700 miles per hour. All three main engines are working just as expected. The three fuel cells are generating power and the three auxiliary power units are all producing pressure. In short, everything performing well. Two minutes and seven seconds into the STS-131 mission. The booster officer in the mission control center has confirmed the solid rocket booster separation. All systems continuing to, continuing to function well. Two orbital maneuvering system engines on Discovery's tail are now firing as well, providing their extra boost engine rating. Engine final last one minute and 44 seconds. 